so I just hopped out of bed and the first thing I noticed on television was the whole news article that I heard about earlier about the current Catholic Pope uh, resigning on the 28th of this month and even when I saw it earlier this morning even though this is now later in the evening for me recording and now uploading this video one very important question raised in my mind um what is exact what exactly is so important about catholic popes what, what makes them so important to have entire news articles entire news stations dedicated to covering the entire story of the fact that they are resigning you know what I'm saying? What, what is what is so special about these popes? Have they done anything special? Because all I see is just another man standing in the front line. You know, another mass manipulator. And this is a serious question, by the way. This is not to try and throw disrespect at Catholics. Because if so, you would have taken offense to something I've said by now but this is a very serious question um, I know a good little bit about religion but I'm not an expert per se it's just you know it's I don't know I see I just see another man with his dress or robe or whatever you call it saying hey um, you're gonna do this because I say so, and because I deem it to be so, because my God told me that whatever I say goes, and he said that it goes through me because of me, to you, because I say so. So, try and figure this logic out. God deems everything so, through this guy, who is apparently just like every other you know, leech of a reverend or pastor in most other black Baptist churches or whatnot is a messenger of God. So, not only can God not multitask, as is always stated in most other biblical contexts, but apparently he, he can't even single task either. I, I was under the impression that God was very omnipotent in many different ways and could get the simplest of shit done like talk to his quote unquote subjects we're gonna use that term for the time being and that that was it I mean you know when I walked in a Catholic church was when that was when my um, thoughts about religion not necessarily were skewed but that was when the confusion came into play. And this happened pretty early on in my life. I think it was like 10 or 11 years old. You know, it, so many different types of churches. You know, if it wasn't Baptist, it was Methodist. Or, ugh. of course, this is Louisiana we're talking about here. What the fuck do you expect? But no, in all severity, um... When I saw that, maybe this is the wrong person, wrong Catholic church or whatever, or maybe it wasn't a Catholic church, but when I saw that blonde haired, blue eyed picture of what is supposed to be Jesus on the cross, I was like, okay, this is fucking stupid. Something is not quite right with this picture. It just didn't make any sense to me. So I'm asking you Catholics, could you please explain to me what makes this guy so important without having to bring out religion? Or any of its tenets to do so, and and if and if you can't do that, then ask yourself this very important question, because um, it it never made any fucking sense to me, and I doubt it'll change by the time I finish uploading this video. Agent au revoir. Mm -hmm.